Hi everyone, this is Daniel Scranton and I'm going to channel the Arcturian Council. Sensing when humanity is making giant steps towards the next level of your consciousness, we can tell when you are. on a greater trajectory of that upward spiral that we sometimes talk to you about. And now is one of those times. There has been a lot of despair, sadness, anger, frustration, and fear on planet Earth for quite some time now. But those of you who are awake and who are sensitive to energies have picked up on what the rest of the collective has been offering and you have taken a stance 
you have been more determined than ever to be in and of the light. You have been more determined than ever to radiate love, peace, and joy. And you have gone back to the drawing board, so to speak, and have activated all of your skills as creator beings. You are doing it with the help of all of the beings and collectives from the higher dimensional planes. And that is also noteworthy. It is important for you to recognize that you have help because you can sometimes feel overwhelmed by all that you have taken on in this single lifetime. You are dealing with your own stuff, your own issues, and you are helping humanity to raise their level of consciousness so that they can shift out of the old third paradigm, the old matrix, and into the new fifth dimensional earth the plane of existence that you've been hearing about for so long and that you have been actively participating in bringing to fruition. You are about to get more help from above. Not only from your ET friends and non-physical collectives from other star systems like ourselves. But we can also sense an amplification of the energies coming from the Archangels and the Ascended Masters. If you have a relationship with one of these archangels or one of these ascended masters like Buddha, Yeshua, Saint Germain, Kuan Yin, and so on, then use that connection that you feel is already present and turn on more of your receptors to receive the help that is coming in from above because it is tremendous. It is yours to receive. And when you help others with your prayers, your meditations, your intentions, you get more attention from the helpers of the universe that are all around. You light up and you show yourself as one of the ground crew members who is there to be a change maker and to bring the peace, unity and harmony to your world that you want to see so much and that is being amplified right now of course and you are responding we can feel it we see the light workers lighting up and we notice how you are attracting a lot of attention from the higher dimensional beings as a result. This leaves us feeling quite optimistic 
about what is to come for humanity. And we suggest that you join us in our optimism. As we know, so many of you already have. We are the Octorian. Enjoyed connecting with you. Oh. Hi, everybody. I think this is propped up a little higher than usual. <laughs> Namaste, blessings. Um, I, uh, I just want to point out something um, they said about the, the receiving part. Um, some of you might n never have worked with me or taken a, a course with me and may never have um, ex had this sort of explained to you what what uh, it means or how to do it so I just want to demonstrate how I do it and I also want to benefit from the added attention that we're getting right now myself so I'm going to show you what I do I'll try to like make sure I don't bang into anything here um, so to get into full receptivity mode here. Sit with your ar arms out, legs uncrossed, feet touching the ground, let's say flat on the ground, okay? You can do this sitting, standing up, laying in bed even, doesn't matter. Open your arms out wide, palms up again both palms facing up. Now you set the intention that you want to receive what is coming from above, from the higher realms, from the higher dimensional beings, the archangels, the ascended masters. And then focus on your breathing. Breathe up into the crown of your head with that intention that as you breathe up into it, you're opening it up and feel the tingly sensation when you do that in the crown of your head and also feel energy in the palms of your hands. You have chakras in your hands right in the center of the palms of your hands is the biggest chakra. See if you can feel that. And then imagine gold and white light coming down from above and showering you with that grace, with that gift that you're being given right now. And breathe a little bit deeper. The more you get into this with the breathing, more intense, slow, deep breath, you'll feel it more. goosebumps all up and down <laughs> you can't tell you can't tell but they're <laughs> down my legs too um, so I was noticing then which some of you might uh, have a question about that I was exhaling out my mouth I don't know if I normally do that or not maybe I do and I've just never noticed before but I don't think it matters it's just what felt natural to me to do, I wasn't making a decision to do it. In other words, it was just what was happening. So, um, but do that once a day or twice a day. You can do it, like I said, when you get up in the morning, before you get out of bed, go outside, get your feet on the grass. Spring's almost here. 
for us in the northern hemisphere. Um, but it should be good, decent enough weather most places by March 20, 20th. Um, even grab the dirt or the sand or the grass with your toes and scrunch them up and really ground and feel it. It's a really nice feeling. <laughs> can even have reminders. I, I've been thinking a lot about reminders and how needed they are and how some, you can have a reminder up and maybe you see it so often you just become completely numb to it and doesn't. So then you got to switch it up. You got to move it or change from having it on your refrigerator to having it on your phone and having it go off as a reminder on the mirror of the bathroom or something where you'll see it. Um, just mix it up. So, so the, the stimulus is, is different for you in some way to, to really hit home for you. This feels like it's open too much. <laughs> um, let's see. I've got announcements to make about upcoming stuff. Um, first, I'll, I'll give you the Talea story since um, I know that's what everybody waits for. Uh, she's added four to her count now, so now it's not one, two, six. It's one, two, four, six. So hopefully we'll get three and five in there eventually. <laughs> I know she knows three and five exist as numbers, but um, uh, this morning we were having breakfast together and we were feeding her dolls, which we've never done before, like pretending. She kind of, I think she understands, you know, I'm not actually going to be able to get the cereal in the doll's mouth, but um, we were both doing it. It was fun to sit and do that. And um, she's really self-entertained in that playroom. I mean, she has like this amazing playroom that um, there's books and blocks and dolls and a dollhouse and, you know, so much for her, a big, big, like orange ball with like glitter inside of it that she likes to play with. So there's so much stuff in there and she just, and then she'll just pick up a broom sometimes. So let's pick up a broom, like one of the like our normal size broom and just start walking around like like she's sweeping the floor <laughs> um and like you know a wheelie carry-on suitcase um anything anything can become a toy but she has this little pink bus that somebody gifted her one of my clients gifted her it wasn't on the get the the list she just came up with this one herself and it's a little pink bus with a handle on it so she can walking around like a push lawnmower and put stuff in it and stuff. So she loves that too. Um, she went off to the beach this morning with my wife and her friend Khan is going to meet, meet them there. So she's re real excited to see her friend. Um, so that's it on the Talea front. I'm um, going to make my announcements now. First things first, March 10th, learn to channel with me, beginners. Even if you've taken beginners with me before, this one will be different. It will be new, the new people, new questions, new processes. DanielScran.com slash learn or all the links I'm going to mention are down below there on the YouTube description. Um, so that's a two hour standalone on March 10th that you just um, get. And then we meet on Instant Teleseminar, which is a an audio only platform and then for the mega course which is starting on the 12th and by the way these upcoming group events no coupon code will work for them so you don't have to think like oh i should wait for the next sale or i should have gotten it during the last sale it doesn't matter they won't they won't be um applicable those codes to these coming up group events so learn to channel Mega is DanielScranton.com slash mega. It's nine classes over uh, nine monthly uh, grouping, you know, group <laughs> sessions with uh, Zoom. So we meet on Zoom so you can have your camera on, you can have your camera off, but you can ask questions, type them in, raise your hand, and all those get recorded too. 
and then there's processes and exercises and different topics each each of the nine classes so it works out really nicely um, and it's about the same price as if you attended nine of those two hour classes in a row um, but if you can't make it live you know you can you can watch the recording or listen to the recording you can join the Facebook private Facebook group that where you can discuss with other class members what's going on with you and your channeling and read about what's going on with theirs and meet you can set up times to practice together which is so important to have somebody a buddy to practice with when it comes to channeling um, so that's coming up and then on the 21st or no, 20th will be the equinox this year and um, I'm going to do a group healing event. That's DanielScranton.com slash group healing. 29th will be the first of four making contact with ETs uh, class sessions. So there'll be a four week course with homework in between. Um, we cover a lot in that course because we have four hours to do it in. And that's at DanielScranton.com slash making contact. Again, links if you're on YouTube, just click them. Um, still watching Succession. It's addictive. Um, I, I am hard, having a hard time pulling myself away from it to watch anything else. But the good thing is there's nothing else really on right now. But there's a lot coming up in March that I didn't even expect. Like I didn't expect another season of Falcon and Winter Soldier to be back so soon. Um, but that's coming back in March. Um, and I think WandaVision too. So some new Mar some Marvel shows. Moon Knight is another one, another Marvel show, I think, that's coming starting in uh, March. So there's a lot coming up that I'm excited about. Um, that's it, though. That's all I got to say. Namaste. Blessings to you and yours. Peace be with you. I love you all. Take care of yourselves. Hit subscribe if you're watching this on the YouTube and everywhere else. Come back tomorrow. I'll do it again. Same time, same place, same Arcturians. Bye now.